Hello, Jim Frangos, the creator of Diet Wizard. The program has 41 buttons. The first 25 are food groups, which are the dairy and eggs, the spices and herbs, infant foods, fats and oils, poultry and poultry products, soups, gravies, condiments, sausages and luncheon, breakfast cereals, fruits and fruit juices, pork and pork products, vegetables and vegetable products, nuts and seeds, beef products, beverages, finfish and shellfish, legumes, lamb and game, baked goods, sweet foods, grain foods, which includes pasta, fast foods, meals, snacks, native Alaskan and American Indian foods, restaurant foods. That's 25 food groups, but there are 16 more buttons to go. The first button is for clearing the screens. The second button examines the nutrients in a selected food. The third button, button number 28 in that series, is the rich button, which examines those food sources that are rich in the nutrients. We all want to plan a diet, that's the next button. The average button summates the characteristics of the entire food group and tells you if there's 800 foods in the group. The average weight will be expressed as will the average thiamin for the group. If you want to limit a nutrient, use the limit button. You might want to limit sodium to 25 milligrams. The functional foods button is next. That examines the foods that are highest in the nutrients. The diet button will compile a menu plan. The new button is for new clients. The client button is for existing clients. Now, I've never seen this in a program. This is the deficiency or excesses button, which will give the symptoms expected from deficiencies or excesses of 40 nutrients. For instance, what would deficiency of phosphate do to me? The next button looks at the actual symptomatology of the client to suggest possible nutrient deficiencies or excesses. This will not replace the attention of a registered medical practitioner. The next button is the random button, which will compile an intake randomly selecting food groups and foods from the group. The shopping button is the third last and the who button is the second last. That tells you who owns this software when this old chook croaks it. Okay, and the last button is the end button to stop the program. Thank you for listening.